So I have a theory. Okay. Let me tell you something, bro. Steven Seagal and Donald Trump, same person. What if they're both okay. just Cylons? Their back clothes. Same model of Cylon. <laughs> yeah. Exterminate. <laughs> the, same are those the ones that say exterminate? The same no. discontinued model no, of Cylons. No, Cy Cylons are from, is it? Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, and their uh, backs like, light up when they're having sex, and that's how you know they're a Cylon. It's like the main That would have been a way funner test ceiling. rather than the like crazy blood test they come up with. Yeah. That's why I have a mirror on the ceiling in the bedroom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just to sure. make sure you're not. Okay, if you're Dr. thinking Who. of Daleks. The Daleks. I think they're the same breed of asshole. Right. I've got some, some facts. Ready? Yes. They both have fake hair. Yep. Well. They fake both tans. have fake orange faces. Yeah. Okay. I think maybe we should take a little break. Oh, stop. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, they both are serial sex pests. With a thing for underage girls. Okay. They both built a career somehow out of a connection to Russian mafia money in the 80s. And even though they were terrible in like every way, just continued to fail upwards. Yep. Why can't I do that? You need the Russian mafia money. The failing upwards. <laughs> you got that covered. <laughs> okay, thanks. Well, it's just like you said earlier, man. One of these days, all of the stars should get together, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and, and put together a list of, of uh, unscrupulous been, journalists yeah, and uh, uh, irresponsible liars. Yes. is shockingly candid when speaking about a female reporter. The few times that I had a hard time, it was usually with women. When somebody's on, on tour, on a promotional tour, he's there to talk about his film. Of course, not about who he's f***ing or uh, <laughs> who would like to f*** or, uh, you know, uh, who his wife uh, was with 10 years ago and they should go into pornography or something instead of journalism if they want to hear that Bunch of some of the women seemed unfair. Why? You think because of the subject matter? Most women don't like action pictures. I won't even dare tell you what I think it is. It was just some dumb <laughs> that I think she belongs in a zoo. They've both been married three times. Seagal has another marriage that was annulled, but it was annulled, so it doesn't count. So it's three. They both okay. are three, exactly. <laughs> both are pathological liars. Uh, who are complete know-it-alls at all times. They're always an expert in every topic. It doesn't matter what it is, whether it's ballistics. Mm -hmm. Nuclear fission. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta rake the floor of the forest. <laughs> you gotta take care of the floors, you know, the floors of the forest, very important. You look at other countries where they do it differently and, and it's a whole different story. I was with the president of Finland and he said, we have uh, a much different, we're a forest nation. He called it a forest nation. And they spend a lot of time on raking and cleaning and doing things, and they don't have any problem. You know, uh, this is the wettest hurricane we've seen. One of the wettest we've ever seen from the standpoint of water. Sharpies and hurricanes? No? You don't remember Hurricane yeah, Sharpie that. Gate? No. Oh, wait, yes, and yes. Hurricane. He committed a felony with a Sharpie on a weather map. The president said it could hit. Alabama, among the other projected states. He said it out loud, said it on Twitter. Problem was, it was never in the National Hurricane Center forecast. The president got peeved over all of this. He insisted Alabama was some of the early projections that he saw. And then we saw this. His hurricane update from the Oval Office today. Trump displayed the so-called cone of uncertainty forecast back from August 29th. And there apparently drawn in Sharpie on the far left, a cone annex of sorts, a protuberance, an appendage added on to include Alabama. What was originally projected? This is a photo of the Oval Office briefing back on the... Which altering federal weather reports and then publishing them like that is a is felony. A crime. You watch the show, he has the most unlikable quality in a human being, which is that he is an expert in everything. This is called uh, Rose of Belle de Lange. It's known as the Rose of Compassion. It's a climbing tea rose, kind of common. Sea urchin gonads. Sea urchins have gonads. Yeah. We do this in Asia, Larry. Both dodged the Vietnam draft. Both failed too much to continue getting funding and had to go elsewhere for funding. Trump was getting all his money from Deutsche Bank in Russia. Yep. Seagal had to go to like Romania to make his shitty movies. Both have had reality shows hmm. uh, and both have s tapes that have to be released or under like investigation. Like we need these secret tapes from this reality show. Trump with saying the n-word apparently on yeah. The Apprentice and that tape has never come out. Seagal, the tape where they uh, run over a puppy. Huh. Oh. It's uh, subject <clears throat> to litigation. 
both put their names on crappy products. So Seagal has had a brand of weapons. Nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna ask, like, hot sauce. Like... <laughs> he was a spokesperson for a Russian billionaire's gun commercials. Quote: My friend Igor Kasayev invited me here. On his request, I will feature adverts for Kovrov weapons. I trust Kasayev. Whatever's put in my hands, I will advertise. That's the quote. <laughs> Привет, дорогая. Привет, дорогой. Это тебе. Спасибо. Сестричка, я сейчас к тебе присоединюсь. Милый, могу я пойти и поплавать лайтнинг бой водички? Конечно, да. It's good to be the king, isn't it? And guess what? It's gonna happen to you. If you drink lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Try it today. Uh, both lie about their backgrounds. Trump was like, I had the best grades at the best school, and his professor was like, he was the dumbest fuck I ever saw. <laughs> both are talk a lot about like how drugs are terrible, but we're surely doing mountains of cocaine or Sudafed or something. Yeah. Trump is fully like teetotaler. I don't put any of that shit in my body. But eats fast food. Both have hosted SNL and been terrible at it. Oh, okay. I blame Pete Davidson. For... Pete Davidson caused Trump. Yeah, Damn it, Pete. Live from Mar-a-Lago, it's the Fox News Ukrainian invasion celebration spectacular. I kept asking, why do we hate Putin? Aren't liberals in America even worse? Right, and I called the president of Ukraine pathetic. Balls blasting away two, three hundred feet in the air. It's how they salute me. Uh, because our first guest is here. He's a great American patriot, so great that he left America and became a Russian citizen, the puffiest action star in the world, Steven Seagal. As someone who proudly pretends to be both Native American and Japanese, <laughs> I feel for all people. Now, you're close with President Putin, right? Yes, Putin and I are, as they say in ancient Japan, Eskimo brothers. <laughs> Neither is funny or seems to understand what is funny. Donald, you're the most amazing guy. You're brilliant, you're handsome, you're rich, you have everything going. The world is waiting for you to be president. So why are you hosting Saturday Night Live? Why? And the answer is, I have really nothing better to do. <laughs> People think I'm controversial, but the truth is, I'm a nice guy. I don't hold grudges against anybody. I hope you'll forgive me for being a little bit serious, but it's important to me to let you know that there's a lot more to Steven Seagal than the martial arts. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to sing and play and hang around. Both are, are were like liberal leftist Democrat. Trump was a registered Democrat and like donated to Hillary Clinton's Senate campaign and was pro-choice. And then when he was gonna run for things, was like, eh. Seagal with his environmentalist shit. Environmentalist, oh, Buddhist, yeah. pacifist, was very liberal. Uh, basically said he was Al Gore with his speech at the end of On Deadly Ground. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's exactly what Al Gore did, you know, 18 years later than he got an Academy Award and a Nobel Peace Prize yes. for. I was a little ahead of my time. But once a black person was elected president, both went suddenly very far right. I wonder why that would be. Mm. Well, -ding. That's kind of, you know, deep. Both seem to buy into the Obama birther, Obama's not a real American kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Y'all have any crack now? No, sir. Gene LaBelle <laughs> calls himself Judo Gene LaBelle. We had experts look in every Kodokan, Budokan, Judokai, everywhere to see if this guy had one black belt. We couldn't find one. And what everybody came back to me and said is, he's never even studied Judo. Who's the most legitimate Hollywood tough guy, in your opinion? You accepted, of course. It's that hard to think of a legit one? Both are good friends with Sheriff Joe Arpaio. Do you think there's any way you could get President Trump to give me a golden shower? Uh, if he sees this, he's gonna like you because you're, you think like he thinks. And this is very... Yeah. Uh, he's a big fan of Putin, loves to hang out with Putin. I love Vladimir Putin and I think he's a wonderful human being, a great world leader, a real man. We have a situation here where Really, all of this is happening, in my opinion, from uh, astronomical propaganda. As Russia massed forces along Ukraine's border and then invaded, 
the former U.S. president found time to praise Russian President Vladimir Putin. Oh, that's wonderful. So Putin is now saying it's independent, a large section of Ukraine. I said, how smart is that? And he's going to go in and be a peacekeeper. He also has been seen with Lukashenko, who's the puppet, Putin's puppet. Mm -hmm. yes. Belarus. Head of Belarus. Yeah. <laughs> It's very good for health. Oh, yeah, I've seen uh, that. Yeah. That's Lukashenko who's with on that one. The country was the only one in Europe with no measures to control or counteract the pandemic. Lukashenko's other coronavirus remedies included vodka, saunas, and working hard. What Lukashenko is known more for is his decades of suppressing anyone who opposes him. Claims well that the Belarusian opposition leader has been filmed speaking under duress. Nice. He's also hung out with Duterte, the Philippines hmm. dictator, who wants to just like murder anyone who does drugs. Yeah, yeah. Or, or just war murder on drugs anyone, and war. drugs is a convenient yes. excuse, too. And then Maduro, who's the dictator of Venezuela, uh, he gave him a samurai sword. He likes yeah. his dictators. Yeah. Um, They're just, just like Trump. strong They're men. Big. They're big fans of dictators. Both unattractive. <laughs> I've been doing some photoshopping. Oh no. If I was... Oh, that works. I like if it. If we're all Steven Seagalified? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> hey, like, he looks almost like a sassy gay man. It's a sassy, yeah. uh, a sassy gay Hitler. <laughs> Keep that one in mind. I'll okay. show you another one. Okay, I'm thinking about that one right now. Um, I'm shuddering. I don't I'm like that one away. as much. Don't like this. This is not your favorite. Mm. Not yeah, the you other one the I think was a little yeah. better. This looks yeah. like Dracula let himself go. <laughs> See, the goatee goes a long way. So where does this rank? Oh, you know what? I think the first one's first my one. favorite still. still. Uh, yeah. But yeah. this yeah. is the best. This is giving me Steve Buscemi vibes. Yeah, you started off with the strongest one. one, I think. Oh, it's pretty good. I think. That one yeah, and the first much. one. This one moved up to second place. I feel like th I feel like that's yeah. the ultimate pose. <laughs> <laughs> this one, you like yeah. this one the best. I, I think as he just looks more sassy. Yeah, he's with the hands like, up. Yeah, maybe it's the Hitler stash. You guys like the Hitler I mean, stash? It's, it's, it's Hitler. This ass. one's the best one. The yeah. Hitler stash wins. Yeah. Interesting. The things you have me on camera saying. <laughs> Five dollars foot pick. <laughs> Ravage that pussy. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like, Cause that pussy is mine. Need some milk, but I got no titty. I think. Men can do no wrong. I see some freakishly big cocks. Baby, I'm a beefsteak. <laughs> <laughs>